Meow. Do 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 do. All right. Sounds okay. Sounds good. Perfect. Hello, people. Is this Two Bros Game Night? I'm your host, Younger Bro. I'm your other host, Older Bro. And we're back playing Endless Ocean. Before we start today, there's been some sad news, which is funny because Older Bro was just singing, well, I guess, humming the tomb. Uh, the thing that's the bad news, it involves Jurassic Park. I would like to point out, guys, that Younger Bro did not tell me anything about the bad news. No. He just mentioned <laughs> that he had bad news. Yeah, and it actually has to do with Jurassic Park. Of course it does. <laughs> so... Um, here's the bad news. This is not the movies. It has to do with Jurassic Park Survival. The studio who is making Jurassic Park Survival, mm -hmm. they're the same people that are doing Knights of the Old Republic Remastered. That oh, okay. is still confirmed to be okay. However, some studio reasons and legal reasons arise, and they're now bought by someone else. Else, it, that's kind of how it was explained to me. Mm -hmm. Um, and Jurassic Park Survival and pretty much all other projects besides Knights of the Old Republics, we do not know if they are going to be continued to be worked on. Yep, that generally is how that works. It's called purchasing and then reorienting. Because you normally, when a new studio buys another studio they have a process of like firing a lot of people yep. and that's kind of what's it's happening because they've been um the, the the employees have been obsoleted by other employees at other companies yeah so um Knights of the Old Republic is still happening that mm -hmm. one we know it is confirmed it is still coming mm -hmm. not being touched Jurassic Park survival and everything else up in the air. We don't know. Yep. We have so, no idea, and that's a thing. I'm going to keep my hopes high because I really don't want Jurassic Park Survival to be canned like Jurassic Park 3 Survival was. But but you should always assume it is. We'll see what happens. So, uh, let's move on from bad news to and, other play, news. and play the game. Let's stop <coughs> focusing on bad news. Instead, let's focus on bad news. Sorry, guys. I'm having issues with my mouth because it is freaking in pain because yeah. of the one tooth. And it should have been fucking pulled. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still so salty about it. Like, you, you do not understand how painful it is to brush my teeth. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> do you have a moment? A salvage request came and... <coughs> For you, from someone named Franklin Fisher. If only we knew who that was. He asked for you personally, is he a friend of yours? I have no idea. He said he would stop by today, and it looks like it might be, this might be him now. Do I know you? Oh, I thought this guy you'd get from a tour. Ahoy, there is this Nimble Island. Who the hell is this? Um... This is Franklin Fisher. I don't, I don't know. Who the hell are you? Th this guy is like the Salvage King or something. Uh-huh. Hi. The name's Franklin Fisher. You can call me FS Why as opposed to GG. Why in the goddamn hell do people keep having the same first and last letters for their first and last... Or why do people have the f same first letter for their first and last name? And then continuously keep requesting we call them... A two-letter acronym. We'll call you Franklin, and you will fucking deal with it. Hey, it's Franklin. I've salvaged all over the world, and even tried to find Valk Castle. Ah, so you're incompetent. But I never did figure out where it was. Are you the super diver who recently discovered Valk Castle? I can't believe it. If You look like a total amateur. Well, a total amateur Ooh. just beat you at your job that you've been doing for 30 years. What exactly are you implying, mister? I can assure you, the discovery is no lie. Our star diver is indeed young, but that has no bearing on skill, I assure you. Uh, and in fact, it probably has is more to do with why he found it instead of you. Oh yeah? Let's put that to the test. Salvage the... Tourmaline. Tourmaline ring for me. 
No problem for a super diver, right? Sure, I guess. Where's that at? I'll be waiting, but I won't hold my breath. I wanted his boat to run out of gas so badly. Ah, oh, damn it. My boat ran out of gas. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to deal with that. I don't think he's as bad as FF. No. Um, but, that uh, is FF. He's sorry. GG. GG. But that is him. It seems we have a most difficult customer this time. According to report, the Tourmaline Ring, he requested is thought to be... Thought, thought to lie near the wreck of the... Demeter. Demeter in Citral Strait. Here's the multi-sensor to search more effectively. Are you looking for an iron ring and... You are looking for an iron ring encrusted with gemstones. Yep. There should be no reaction to wood, and it will be a small item. If the multi-sensor picks up only metal and stone, then it's probably a ring. After Nancy has appraised it, and you know that it's the Termaline ring, tell me and I'll get in touch with the client. Good luck. Godspeed. Godspeed to you. This will be our Independence Day. Alright, um, let's look at the guitar. You want to play on your new guitar, but you still have a guide request that you should take care of. First. <laughs> I have to go do the Termaline ring first. Come it is on. so time sensitive. You can't fucking rest. Come on. Uh, you can't take a break. You have a critical mission. Oh, you want to go to sleep? Oh, you can do that. Yeah, that's how you pass the <laughs> day on nine ball. Mm -hmm. All right, now I have to use. But you can't play the dang guitar. I have to use the telescope at this time. You want to look through the telescope? You can't do that right now. You have a tour, or you have a guide hmm. to do. The water is so still and calm today. Was it not early in the morning? It was early in the morning on the after the night of a full moon, I believe. The, the, whatever the the one quest was, it was an extremely specific. Savage King. There we go. Savage Trial. Yeah. Wreck of the Demeter. I know where this one is. It's not that hard to find. The other um, one was it? That was the Terminal Line Ring. Well, no, 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 um, right but the one I'm looking for is a special request. It should be... This? this? No. Mysterious object. That's, this is the one I'm trying to trigger. Yeah. Early in the morning on the night of, of a full, full moon. moon. So I don't know if that means that you have to do it on the night of a full moon and the cutscene no, will take you no, in early it's, morning uh, or you have to start in early morning. You have to start in, or, in early morning. So I, I, I've early done this Early morning one. after a full moon. So here's what sucks about this one. I can't just hit sunrise and sunrise and sunrise until I get it. I actually have to hit sunrise, then do midnight, check if it's a full moon. If not, then I have to rest till sunrise and just keep rinsing and repeating until yep. I get it. But it is, and you have to do it, you do click sunrise. It's not like you have to do it right before it would hit sunrise, so you can't actually hit that button. It's, you have to, it just has to be a full moon the night before. As long as there's a full moon in the sky, it should be is fine. Is there a moon in the sky? That's that looks like a... I can't tell. I'm assuming that is not full. Because I'm assuming it's going to be a full circle. So we can check it by just going to the next day. Because All right, we now have to it's anyways. sunrise. Yep. And then go check it. And then go back. Yeah, I'm not leaving Where until the fuck I is my tourmaline ring? Trigger it. There it is. Yep, that was a full moon. Okay, that wasn't a very good circle. Is this a cutscene? Yes, it's a cutscene. This is a very slow cutscene. Because you're watching it. <laughs> yes. What is the matter? You look like there's something on your mind. There's something you want to ask. Yeah, a whale out there. 
a large, odd-looking object floating in the water. That's not really enough of a description for me to tell you what it is. You said you saw it in southwest of Guantanamo Atoll. Well then, let's go and have a look. We might find some clues. Unfortunately, you're going to have to wait until after you do the tourmaline ring quest. Okay, we're good. I can now go do shit. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I thought I clicked on it. Uh, maybe he has some titles for me. No. We have a follow request. Oh, yeah. Nope. If he had a request for me, he would have done it. One guy to dive request. And no. we'll, we'll do all of those at a different time. We'll do all the quests from the book, and then I'll do <laughs> those last. Aquarium. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. All right, one well, time at all, I think we're going here for two things. We're going here for, sorry, no, three things. We're going to check the private reef. Oh, he's sitting now. Um, private reef, deep hole for Nancy Scissors, and the object. The but, art. Oh, yeah. All right, dive. Um, I don't really need anyone, but I guess Summer. Help me go through here quickly. Um, let's start. Let's start at deep hole. Because there's two things down there we need to check. What's going on? Seem like you like you have something on your mind. No, I'm just thinking right now. No. Oh, I guess uh, I guess uh, thinking of things. Um, this is more of a background channel thing, um, but so just just making sure for for these pages, are you now putting every game on the list rather than putting anything in the the notes? Or are you still putting games in notes sometimes? Oh, um, I'm I'm putting I'm putting everything down. The reason I have game names in notes. Mm -hmm. Is to tell me, hey, may I'm gonna move this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure that if you were still doing that or not, because I didn't see any in there, and so I was like, hmm? I didn't know if I just didn't see them or if they were, if I missed them. No, nope, uh, they all should be. No. Good. Yeah. So it looks like you're in the southwest. Can you see anything suspicious? Well, I see a lot of water. This seems pretty suspicious. I thought there was supposed to be a drought right now. Sand looks a little bit darker, I guess. There were reports of tracks that looked like something big being dragged. Tracks of something being dragged? Can it be? No, it can't be. There. Anyway, go ashore now. You might find some clues. Keep a sharp eye out to make sure you don't miss anything. Yeah, I was trying to go ashore, and then cutscene happened. I wasn't expecting that. I forgot about that cutscene. So this was the thing. Oh, it's a gator. Can you hear me? This is John Eric. My goodness, this is a legendary creature. That's yeah, so they're not mythical, like <laughs> what they're going to do in <laughs> three. It's a legendary creature. It's a crocodile. It's the Pelago crocodile. As you can see, it's a marine crocodile. They are. There are ancient records of it living in the Pelago Commonwealth long ago, but it's now believed to be extinct. Nice pined. Dragon tracker. It is not a dragon. But it is a dangerous creature. And you should move. Nice. Pelago crocodile. Are those, are those just lizards or are those baby crocodiles? Hmm. No, those are uh, lizards. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm taking a picture of this beauty. Yeah, what kind of, what kind of lizard is that? Or like... Uh, it, it should be uh, something iguana. Uh, yeah, yeah Galapagos Iguana. Oh, yeah, I guess, like, hmm. 
I forgot the Galapagos were in the Pacific. For some reason, I thought they were in the Atlantic. But I guess that doesn't make sense. Um, I think there are other marine iguanas. Yeah, that... But I can't I, confirm it. I don't yeah. know enough. Like... Again, a lot of my marine knowledge comes from this game and going to aquariums. I don't really actively look up, like... Yeah, yeah. Oceanic stuff. Yeah. Like, there are some things I know about, like... Like, some sea mysteries and stuff like that. That's some stuff I know about. But I... Yeah, I, I, I like marine biology, but I, I'm more land-based animal knowledge than uh, sea-based. Alright, so we're just going to deep hole easy. Alright, winner, I need you to take me to deep hole. By the way, guys, if you're not careful, if you click on winner at the start of deep hole, she can sometimes accidentally take you back to uh, one ton of tall. Yeah, we apologize for no music in this game, but we kind of have to have it off. Yeah, I did actually listen and was able to see it to hear the music, but it was it, even in even in the streams where we had it on, it was very quiet. So I don't think that we have significantly changed the uh, the stream in a much meaningful way. I know, it's just, I wish we could add background music. I think we can, but we'd have to have it on a loop throughout the stream, and I don't know how to set yeah, that up. Yeah, that's the problem. And I'd rather just not deal with it. Cause that, that would be a lot of work. Because I'd basically have to have a local file on this computer, and then I'd have to have a play, uh, playlist in... OBS and have it just loop the playlist over and over again and that'd be a pain. And while we could that set that up, we don't know what songs are copyrighted on Twitch. Yeah, because it turns out to if anyone's not heard, uh, we've been having we had some issues on Twitch with some audio that was being claimed and we couldn't figure out what it was. We assumed, be, as we assumed that it was actually claiming literally nothing, as in the the thing it was claiming was blank audio. Yeah, we thought because somebody Twitch's was audio, trolling us. Because Twitch's copyright or uh, system is so bad that it actually doesn't tell you where the music that's being claimed is. So in our case, we just saw a claim, or it wasn't even a claim because they weren't actually claiming us. It was Twitch was preemptively muting it, but Twitch would say there was music in the video. They would say who it was by in quotes, and then it said 30, and I presumed that meant 30 seconds into the video. No, it meant the clip being claimed was 30 seconds, and it could be anywhere in the video, and they just won't tell you. Which I would say is a pretty big oversight. You should always tell us where in the video the thing you're claiming is so that we could... At least YouTube does that. Like, tell you that it's not there. But not the point. We eventually found out what happened was that there's audio that's royalty-free that another company used to make a copyrighted song that contains royalty-free music inside it. And they were claiming our end credits, which are the same royalty-free song. So, 
Yeah, they were claiming our end credits, guys. Like, can you believe that? Yeah. We didn't know because they didn't tell us where it was. And the song that's being claimed is something from some random Indian company. I can't tell you what it is. So, yeah. That was our fun. Yeah, Twitch's copyright system is not well done. Uh, part, probably because they initially didn't have one. But, yeah, it's... No. I'm... I'm accepting of, of many copyright claims. I understand why in-game music sometimes gets claimed. Even though it, it should never get claimed. I understand why it does. This should never be acceptable to claim. This is literally uncopyrighted, unprotected music. It literally does not have rights to protect. So it's like, it, it does kind of piss me off when some jackass company uses royalty-free music, then copyright claims their own song and protects it, and then doesn't remember to tell a company like Twitch... Oh, by the way, you can't use this section of the video for checking for copyright because that section contains royalty-free songs that we are not the copyright holders of. So if you claimed anyone on that, you would actually be inappropriately copyright claiming people. That's stupid. Um, I will have to remove some coral and stuff eventually. Damn it. Yep, right there. That would be, yeah. No. It, no, it, no, 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 that's what I wanted oh, to do. Oh, okay, gotcha. You, just, you want to put them in order. Yeah. Well, not in order, but in the order you got them. But yeah, I will have to remove some of the stuff eventually. No, nope. nope. oh, no, it's fine. Oh, no, it's fine. I have to remove some of the stuff eventually because um, I will run out of room for things. Well, if you, if you have to run out, if you run out of room, you just won't place anything else. Well, I can just remove it and replace it. Turn around. Because, again, different things give you different fish. So, I, I in order for me to get all the fish in here, I have to... Well, right, but you're only putting down one of everything right now, so... For if... now, but eventually I'm, I'm going to run out of room. Yes. So, what I'm saying is you can't get every fish. Because in order to have every fish, you'd have to have one of every single thing. And since you don't have the room for one of every single thing, eventually you'll just not be able to put stuff down. All I have to do is remove this coral and replace it with the new stuff and I'll get new fish. Yes, but you won't keep the old fish. No. That, that, that's the point. I'm, I'm not going to keep the old fish. Like, I, I will lose it. Yes. Like, that will happen. Yes. As long as we're on the same page, it's like, yeah. Ah, man-made. Yeah, I don't like that we have to, we can put an anchor in here and tires. Like well, that's the big thing is that this is a protected reef that you're not allowed to have things in, and this is actually something. Yeah, that I know. They so, do. like, they do this in the ocean. I, I you yes. put they, like those blocks there. Those are like, stuff that are ma are man-made objects that they literally just drop in the ocean for the purpose of creating animal habitat. Tires are the same way, where you can drop tires into the ocean and they become marine habitat. But the anchor is a little bit... The anchor's a bit strange, yeah. Like, normal anchors, but that was like a... Like, if it's a plastic that, anchor, then maybe... Well, here's the thing. Metal but, anchors from ships are, are in the ocean all the time, and that's not a big deal. But most anchors aren't actually sharp. Anchors aren't meant to be. They're meant to be a heavy object that hooks on something. But those were like spear points. Yeah. Those actually will stab things. So, like, that's a bad anchor. But, like, a normal old school boat anchor, those are fine. All right, let's reset the reef and see what we get. But, yeah, I have no idea how to release the fish. Yeah. I'm going to have to look that up. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I did, I did look through and did see some of your notes, although I think that your notes probably weren't updated. 
because some of the notes on there were definitely notes. 101. For, hmm? uh, 101 fish. Oh, now. yeah, yeah. Um, some of the notes in there were definitely for games that are currently on the list. <laughs> so. But yeah. Um, I must have missed those when I was looking through them. Because I didn't check every spot, but I checked out quite a few. Now the ever pr uh, the ever important problem: trying to figure out what fish you don't have. Yeah, seriously. Squirrel fish. Like some of these fish um, that I'm clicking on, like I'm seeing them in a new light. That's a new fish right there. Clownfish. False clown. False clownfish. I didn't realize they were fake clownfish. Yeah. So what's their... What do they do? Fake... Do they pretend to be clownfish and, like, kill normal clownfish? No, 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 no. Like... Um, a fake clownfish is a... L has a little bit of a different design than a real clownfish. Uh, but it, it's still just basically a clownfish otherwise. Yeah, I don't know if it's in the same family necessarily, but... Yeah, I don't know. Is that a rockfish? That is yep. a rockfish. Don't know why grass would attract a rockfish, but okay. Well, do the do the fish always congregate around the plant that summoned them? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, that is strange. That's nice, sardine. Razor. Razor fish. fish. Cares not for your food. Oh, uh, that's purple queen. I don't know if I have a purple queen. So I'm gonna get the fuck out of the way. I do you have do. one. Okay. Um, let's see here. That's a razor fish. I don't see anything new here. I don't see anything new here. All right. I think we did everything here. I think we're good. Sure. Alright, so we did the mythical creature thing. Well, it's not mythical. It's legendary in this game, but whatever. Yep. Um, we got Nancy's scissors, and we checked out the private reef again because we got new ship. Mm-hmm. Is there anything we missed at one time on tall? I think the only things we've missed at one time on tall are the photo mission and the the, the tour. stuff you're not doing right now. Yeah, the thing I'm not doing right now. Alright. So let me see what missions I have to complete. I'll do the Nancy Scissor mission, and maybe that'll let me do the guitar mission. Serious object. Turned out to be a Pelago Crocodile. Thought they were extinct. Memento. What was this for again? Guitar. Right. All right, let's get Nancy over here. You found my scissors. No doubt about it, these are my scissors. You're the best, thank you. Now I can reopen my model hairdressing business. Mobile. Mobile <laughs> model. <laughs> I mean, look, maybe she's making you look like a model. I don't know. Don't be surprised, I'm really good. Why don't I cut your head to thank you for finding my scissors? It'll be f almost for free. Almost for free! Um, I think... 
Yeah, bandana? I... She can cut your hair into a bandana. All right, let's... All right, it's snippity snap, but first, that'll be a thousand dollars. Yes, free. Mm, yeah, sugar, you look all good. Oh, um, it's nothing really. <laughs> <laughs> Did she fuck up my hair? <laughs> Maybe. Mm, yeah. I look like Vanoss. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize that Vanoss looked this ugly. <laughs> like, Vanoss has the same hairstyle. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yes, lazy haircut. Ah, uh, this suits you perfectly. This is the haircut of somebody who doesn't want to get their haircut, so they just have it shaved. Anything else? I don't think I can buy anything else. I'm I'm blur broke. I'm yeah. bloke. That's yes. not quite Younger Bro's hairstyle, but it's not far off. Thanks a bunch. If you need anything, just call. Yeah, I tried to to make it my original hairstyle, which is kind of what he has now. Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm losing my hair like father mm -hmm. did. So, uh, mm. yeah. Can I play guitar now? No, you have to take care of that fucking quest. It is impossible for you to play the guitar until you go and get that damn mission done. It's either the ring or it's the tours. I, I don't know which one it is. They said a guide. So I presume it's the tours, right? Yeah, that sounds like a tour. Um. Okay, what do we have to do there? I know we have to find the bluebird. That I know, and I know where the bluebird is there. Um... So is it in quest? Yep, find the bluebird. I know where it's at. That's the ring. Help me. There's a couple monk seals we have to take care of. There's a lot to do. That's done. Poison sky. Treasure rumors. Um, I now know what this quest is talking about. Yeah. So this is not talking about night. There is a boat called the full moon. So the treasure rests north of the full moon. It is north of the boat. Uh, treasure Makes vault rumor sense. and the Vulcan castle rumor. I think I know where both of them are. Or at least one of them. So, yeah, we have a lot to do in serious straight. Not only that, we also have to complete the map as well. We have to complete both maps. We have to complete the first map and we have to complete the second map. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, actually no, we don't have to complete the second map. I already got Vulcan Castle. We just need Citrus Strait. Now guys, I don't think there's one legendary slash mythical fish or creature in each area. I think there's more than one. But I remember the crocodile being, like, one of the bigger ones. This is John Eric. Yes, yes, understood. Okay, we should probably do the monk seals first. A conservation group called again. It seems that the Mediterranean monk seals living in Sirius Strait have not returned to their colony. We've been asked to find them. Shall we go and look for the seals? We'll look for them later. The Mediterranean monk seals have been seen in the following areas. The western shallows, the southeast near the Emerald Lady, and near the Blue Dome. They must be too weak to return to their colony by themselves. Hey, Mr. B. The ocean's endless. Wouldn't it eventually spill out of the planet? <laughs> uh, well, you see, Mr. B, the way it works is that it's constantly spilling off the back of the planet and on to the, uh, to the turtle. Uh, but, luckily, water constantly spills up from below. Uh, anyway. through, through the spouts of the elephants. So, therefore, it is always endless. If you heal them with the pulsar, I'm sure they'll be just fine. If you go ashore, leave the main area to this, during the search. 
You'll have to start again from the very beginning. So we remember, don't want that. you cannot surface. You Whatsoever. cannot leave no. the area. You cannot go to the boat. This is why we have if to do it first. If you return first. to the boat before the task is completed, you fail. All right. <laughs> um... Mr. B, I don't know the I don't know the per, the number of people that are currently alive versus the square footage. That COVID required. But I am reasonably certain that due to just housing and the size of continents in general, that even if the Earth was flat, all people could stand on it six feet apart from every other person and still have plenty of room. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that. I would need to do some statistical analysis to do that. But frankly, I don't care to, and you're a math teacher, so you should absolutely make that a math problem. Um, yeah, I think the name Endless Ocean is sort of... Th let me describe their thinking process. The One of the most unexplored thing besides space is the ocean. Yeah, so space is not the final frontier. The ocean is still the final frontier. So, since we still have a good number of ocean to explore, to us it is, to an extent, endless. And that's why they called it Endless Ocean, because there is a bunch of ocean. But actually, seriously, that, that does sound like a really good math problem. Of, there are, like, insert the current population of the Earth. There are this many people. If each person was required to stand six feet apart from every other person, and they were as densely packed as possible, what was what is the minimum square footage of land required to house that many people. I think this is Oceana. It said that this seal should be able to... They said this seal should be able to get back to its colony by itself. Now let's check the western shallows and the Emerald Lady. In the southeast. Western shallows. I have to figure out. I'm assuming that a I'm assuming that a triangle would be the most efficient. S yeah, would be the most efficient in that case. Unless we're taking into account elevation, in which case you might be able to plateau and reduce the the amount of land required. We might need to do a contour integral of some kind or. I don't know. This is I'm trying here, Mr. P. This is early in the morning, so I don't know if the whirlpools are here. It might not be. They are not. Good. That means we can get an, a special cutscene. Okay, to get the special cutscene, I have to go all the way over here. I mean, it was all a joke anyways. I mean, yes, it was a joke, but... A joke is absolutely the best place to get the next math problem for your book. I don't think we got this guy fi yet. I think this is a type of angler fish. Monk the fish. Monk fish. Oh, yes. Oh, how could I forget? I love this fish. So how how can you turn this stupid question about population density versus the actual square footage of the Earth into a derivative slash integral question? Where is the exit of this place over here? Uh, but anyways, uh, to talk about earlier, if anyone didn't understand the reference I was making to the, the elephants and the turtle, uh, I feel very bad for you. Here we go.
There would be awesome music playing, but due to YouTube, we had to freaking no, censor fine. it. Yeah. Um, but no. Yeah. Absolutely. If anybody hasn't checked out uh, Discworld, go check out Discworld. Rip Terry Pratchett. Who? Uh, one of the m- most famous fantasy authors of the last, like, 50 years. Hmm. Can you hear me, Sean Eric? This is a North Atlantic right well. They're extremely curious, and they're often seen in coastal waters. I like their mouths in particular. They always look like they're smiling about something. Whenever I see them, I start smiling, too. All right, let's catalog our Atlantic right well. Mr. B, that sausage sounds too rich for, for me. I'm sure it isn't, but, like, the name just makes it sound extremely expensive. Awesome. Right, of Um. But I hope you're enjoying it. I keep selecting the pin and I'm not meaning to. I'm trying to do the sea whistle. There we go. 384 for a pack of it. I mean, I haven't bought sausage in a while, so I don't know how cheap that is. That sounds relatively reasonable. Um... The Emerald Lady should be over here. A kielbasa link from Walmart's 395. I think this one has a coin. So it seems not too expensive. Nope, not this one. Like, pretty sure there is a coin around here. Maybe not the absolute cheapest thing you can buy, but like, is the Emerald Lady? No. I would see it. I don't know. Younger bro would know if that's a good deal or not. He worked in meat. Oh, there's another Atlantic right well. No, it's the same one. Right. It, it loops. Yeah, you tell me. 384 for a pack of sausage. Sausage? Yeah. Low, medium, or high for a, for a thing of sausage for 384. That's actually low. The place I worked at sold them for like four something yeah so to be fair we don't know the we don't know the difference in prices where we are versus maine yeah so, so it was actually it like could. more expensive in our case <laughs> south canyon regardless it seems like it's on the cheaper end so it's just when you put a name in front of it where it's not just sausage once you start identifying it as a specific sausage, it's like, oh, this is starting to sound more expensive. Where is the Emerald Lady? You could cook what I made for dinner in under ten dollars. Um Fair enough. Here's what sucks about opening the map and swimming. Uh-huh. It won't tell you locations like while world. you're while you're on the map. Yeah. Yeah. The Emerald Lady Deeper? Yeah, it makes sense, Mr. B. But I also presume that you might have some leftovers. Like you're not oh, we don't have like you're no, not you're either not using all the pasta and all the sausage or you're not eating all the pasta and all the sausage. So. So yeah, it's your you, honestly this meal is probably close to half that or maybe two-thirds of that. 
Oh. This is on my mind because this is one of the things. Me and Younger Bro are not the biggest on making food. Can you hear me, Sean Eric? It looks like you found a group of manta rays. It's rare to see them in a group as this. In a group this large. They usually don't form groups at all. It may be that the sanctuary where they do their courting is nearby. Yes, their mating grounds must be somewhere here in Chichiro Strait. You should try to find it when you have some free time. To be fair, Mr. B, uh, oh. you posted your image at, at one point. You honestly didn't look that much bigger than Younger Bro. In fact, oh, you might have looked smaller than Younger Bro. Um, what are you saying? That picture was 10 years ago. Okay, then you're probably larger than Younger Bro. <laughs> anyway, find the mating grounds. I don't think I ever have. I don't think I've ever found the mating grounds for the stingrays. I think. Have I? Oh. That was not the monk seal. There is one around here. But oh, where the hell is the... I know the Emerald Lady is right. There it is. That's it. There's the Emerald Lady. Wait. Yep. Thanatos. Yeah. I thought you only came out at night. Clearly not. But yeah, me and Younger Bro are not... Uh, are not very good about uh, making food ourselves. So when when we plan to move out, we're going to uh, struggle a bit with that. They said that this chill should be able to get back to its colony by itself. Only the western shallows go. Yeah, seriously, go. Else you'll be killed by jaws here. I almost want to get a better picture of him, but not right now. If you want a better picture of Mr. B, just ask for a better picture of Mr. B. I'm talking about Thanatos. Yeah, I, I knew what you meant. <sighs> the other monk seal should be around here somewhere. I think it's up. Yeah. Didn't it say it was in the shallows? It, it's over here somewhere. So yeah, it makes sense that it would be up around this area. Oh, uh, that's a cow stingray. Cow oh. tail stingray. I'd click on it, but the damn shark won't leave me the fuck alone. So say you can't take photos while. In oh, you, I guess you can. But oh, there's barracuda down there. Yeah. So this is a cow tail stingray. Yep. You were correct. Th this one's an easy one. Um, and these I remember from my books. This yeah. I've actually seen in a book. Our, I mean, we've been to a couple uh, like zoos that have like the, the petting zoo, the like petting uh, the underwater petting Cow tails zoos. aren't usually... Th those aren't, but th there's, they have things similar to that. Is a Japanese angel angelfish. I think those are usually sharks and not stingrays. They're sharks, stingrays that we can pet. Yeah. Um, but they're definitely not those. No. But yeah, let's test if they respond to different colors. Oh, it erases the previous, so no. Yeah, I don't know how it works. Oh, I didn't get this slug. The Chromodorus. Yeah, a lot of them are feed. Yeah, that makes sense. And it's easy. But yeah, let's go check out these barracuda down here. We must investigate the barracuda. Now, these things are nasty. I wouldn't get these too no. close to them. I mean, they're not actively killing you. Think of them as the musky of the sea. Of the sea. Yeah, not quite piranhas, but... Mm, no, I, I'd, I'd compare them to, like, musky or pike. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, pike, pike makes sense. They're not necessarily dangerous, but they're not safe. 
think the last one's around here. Well, we'll get a nice title card that says if this is the shallows. In the shallow, this is shallow. In the shallow, no, no. That, that song is one of the most, like, it's not terrible, it's just boring. Like, when I first heard it, it's like, eh, it's okay. And then it kind of yeah. got annoying after a while. Yeah. There's a couple songs that I've heard and didn't have a problem with and then started having a problem with them. Not even from overplay. Just I just started getting annoying hearing them because I'm just like, this. Sometimes songs, the newness of them makes them better than they actually are. Oh yeah, here's the place where you find ball in those dolphins. Wait a couple days ago in 375. I mean, I don't think I'd say you're a lot more robust than Younger Bro, but like you're not. Oh no, I lost a lot of weight. I but yeah, it's like Younger Bro has actually lost some weight. So I used to weigh 240, now I'm at 210. Yeah. So I guess nowadays you are like I think I think maybe before you started working. I before I started working, I just said I was at 240. Oh, sorry. I thought that was before you started at Walmart. No. So, okay. Yeah. Can you hear me, John Eric? That's a bottlenose dolphin. It may look gray all over, but it's but it has a white belly. There's a reason for that, you know. This coloring provides camouflage, helping it blend in with the sea. The shapes and colors of all creatures have some purpose and are meaning. Don't you find that fascinating? Bottlenose dolphin. We all know this one. Yeah, if, if me, Younger Bro, and Mr. B all stood next to each other, we would be a spectrum of weights. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one's... Obviously, I'm stupid. Got it. Okay. Um, so, the one... The, the last seal we're looking for is, like, around the wall somewhere like this wall that we're on yeah I don't know exactly are we playing echo after this no Mr. B we do we take great strides to ensure that we don't play the same kind of content next to each other as much as possible so we absolutely would not play echo after this what's echo Echo the dolphin. The only dolphin game I know about is dolphins with a but Z. But Echo's a 2D puzzle platformer game. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm... I, I'm memeing a little bit, but... But no, it is... I don't even think that's on either of our lists. Like, I have... A dive, another dive game on, well, it's actually not on our channel list. It's on my Oculus Quest list because it's a VR game. I was very interested in it and played like Endless Ocean. Sorry, I'm struggling. I do not remember where this last monk still was. Yeah. I remember finding it up here or, or it around. said it's in the the shallows wherever that is like there, there's a place called the shallows or something so it's got to be one of the places we've either already been or have not been yet like the emerald lady is the easiest one yeah and we just got the the second one shallows I thought the shadows was like right around here. I, I always struggle with this one. Yeah. Which is weird because my original playthrough was the first one I found. Bad thing is that we are running lower on air than we really want to be. Yeah, seriously. So we might end up having to do it again. Might have to look this one up. Because I never remember exactly. He where will it's pay at. money for it to be played before Echo. You, 
Mm-hmm. Well, w- again, Mr. B, we, as we said, Echo is not on our list, so it is by definition going to be played before Echo the Dolphin. Yeah, it's not in here. I know it's not in this big area here. I know it's around here somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's up in here. Worst comes to worst, we'll just uh, we'll just have to redo it, and we can do plot a better course the second time. Because the map should show us where everything is a bit better. Is it in here? I don't think so. Yeah, we're going to have to do this again. Yeah. It's not in the north, I know that. I know this one's relatively easy to see, so as soon as we see it. God damn it. Yeah, we'll have to head out. And that's with upgraded yeah. fuel, guys. So yeah, let's let's reread the the quest. No, we'll, I know where it's at. Well, no, no, sort no, of. That's what I'm saying. Let's reread the quest and see if it's someplace that's mapped, and we'll plot it out just to make sure we're not. No, this is the. Up. I'm pretty sure this is the one that. Okay. Now we have to go back to Nine Ball Island. They will not let us do the quest again until we go back to Nine Ball Island. Yeah, this last one's always a pain, guys. Like, list of guided tour locations. Cicero Strait Central. That's it. Okay, yeah, so go to the go to the menu that has the information. We we don't have a specific location. Well I know, but it had it had a thing on there that said what it Oh, he tells us. Okay, so we're going to have to go back and he'll tell us what it is. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, the only way to do these quests again is to go back to Nine Ball Island and then go back out again. It w- You can't trigger the quest from the boat. As long as I know where this one is. Yeah, yeah. Stand it up and pop them Wait, up. Wait, is it? it? It can't be at the Red Dome, is it? No, if anything, it would be when they put on the Blue Dome. Well, we already did the Blue Dome. Mm, no, 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 it's the Tomatol. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, Mr. B, I'm I'm putting I'm putting Majora's Mask before other Zelda games that I really want to play. Like I still have several personal favorite Zelda games. You're diving at Gatamato. Leave Gatamato.
No, 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 no. I, I like, like, here's the thing. Majora's Mask's fine. It's a good Zelda game. Probably better. Actually, I would say it's better than Ocarina of Time. Because it has way more to do. I don't think I'd say it's the best. But it is very good. Then again, I never beat it because I struggled with the time-based mechanic. Okay, let's go and find them. And then he's going to tell us where they are. The Mediterranean is okay, here. The Western Shallows, the Blue Dome, and the Emerald Lady. So where is the Western Shallows? I don't know. Okay, so let's look at the map. Like, all I remember with this seal is it's near a rock face. Okay, where's, so... Uh, look at the, look at the dive locations. That's None Triton of... Village. I bet you it's where the new, the literal word new is. No, on that it's, map. it's... Somewhere in there. It is... Because the western shallows. So it should be in the west. On the video, it's looking like it's in the damn red dome. So here, let's go check the red dome. According to this, it's A3, B3. So it's up in the north. Like there, where your cursor is right now. It's in that area. That's the blue dome. I'm just telling you what the, the guide's saying, man. According to this, the western shallows are north of the blue dome. So right here. I don't know where, how much north. Just they are north. Where's the red dome, damn it. But yeah, I'm trying to think of, uh, I'm trying to think of personal favorite Zelda games. Let me, you know what? Let me look up a list of all, every Zelda game. This should be the red dome right here. <laughs> Keep bumping my face on the mic. Can you hear me, John Eric? There's an open space here also. Try surfacing to see what's here. Not do that. Well, as long as I don't go to the storage, it'll be fine. Sure. And there's no shore to go into in here. Alright. Full story of the Red Dome. And blue dome. You found more murals. Incredible. The picture and colors are different from the other mural, but the style is similar. Maybe the two m murals are actually a set? I have no idea what that might mean. Hmm. Yeah, why is one of them blue and one of them red? Uh, Endless Ocean supports two bros game. Now I understand. <laughs> okay. So, I think... Okay. So, I think the seal down here is the only one that's down here. And I'm just remembering incorrectly. And I think both of them are up here near the blue dome. I think that's what it is. So, the seal was not in the red dome, but I got the red dome anyway. Since we were in the area.
All right, the Emerald Lady is around here-ish. Yeah, it's very hard to do multiple things on this map, guys. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, this is not the last help me quest either. This is one of the harder ones, in my opinion. Yeah, the Emerald Lady is like right in here. Get my pulser ready. There it is. I think that's it. Yep. Right. Okay, I and found a site for damn ranking it. every zone. I tried dodging, guys. Best Zelda game in existence. Yeah, I'm going through and I'm going to rank every Zelda game. Yeah, out of all the Zelda games I've played, I have played Majora's Mask. I've played a good amount of it. In my opinion, I still think Ocarina of Time is still better than Majora's Mask. Um, is Ocarina of Time my favorite, though? It, see, I will say, I don't think this list has some of the games. It definitely has Breath of the Wild. I don't think this has Tears of the mm. Kingdom. So I think this is too new. Question. Yeah, because right now, like, I, I've played... I've only played a handful of Major Majora's games. I've only played a handful of Zelda games. I've played Majora's Mask. I've played... Twilight Princess, I've played Breath of the Wild, I've played Ocarina of Time, and I played... There's another one I played. What was it? Was that the only four I played? Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess. No, I played another one. Okay, this one includes Tears of the Kingdom, apparently. And I played... A Zelda Picross game. Those are the only Zelda games I've played, and I'm having a hard time deciding whether I like Twilight Princess more or Ocarina of Time more. Um, I can't even say, oh, I played Ocarina of Time more than Twilight Princess, and I can't say I've a hundred percented one game or another, because I 100% of Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess, and I have played um, Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess just as much as each other. Same with Breath of the Wild as well. Well, except for 100%. I have not 100% Breath of the Wild. No, 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 no. But that said... Mm. I, I think Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess are equally as good. <sighs> yeah. I, I can't decide between Twilight Princess and Ocarina of Time. They're both just really, really good games. Okay, I found a site that has Tears of the Kingdom. So, let me move every single game into the not ranked column. And then I'll play, uh, check them from there. There's the last monk seal. It's right next to the blue damn dome. This does not appear to be every Zelda game. Dang it. This is, uh... 
<sighs> Wait. Treated all the Mediterranean monk seals. Head back to the island. Yeah, I'll do that just after we do some things. Okay, so we treated the seals. Let's go to the only two surface areas um, on this map. There's one here, and there's one near the red dome. I think it's right in here. And I think we're closer to there. And I think that's where the bluebird is, so let, let, let's go. Let's go there first. Oh, is this the place where the manta rays gather? It is! It is! We found it! More special cutscenes. Let's go! The mantas. Dances are dancing. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Can you hear me, John Eric? This is the Manta Ray Sanctuary. It may be their courting area as well. The dance you're seeing is said to be a part of their courtship behavior. Oh, I like this so much. The Manta is certainly a majestic and mysterious creature with a lot of secrets. Beautiful fish. Um, but yeah, guys, um, I forgot. I actually have seen that cutscene before, so I did at some point find their sanctuary. But, um, I don't remember in my original playthrough. I remember it in a playthrough I did not long ago. Okay, I have found a tier list that actually has every single Zelda game. Finally. Alright, here's uh, a secret. Um, oh, we're supposed to tell secrets right now? This is a secret surfacing area, which where I think the bluebird is. Yep, there's the bluebird right there. You found the bluebird. It's exactly where the voice you heard said it would be. The bird is singing a beautiful song. When the ice dances in the frozen north. When the ice dance. When the ice dances. Frozen north. What could that mean? North Atlantic Sea. There's something on the ground. Aquafins. They're not... I don't think they're bad. I'll have to look at them. I can't remember if there's anything here at this time. I don't think there is. No. It's only the blue bird. Only the blue bird. Alright, let's go check out a monk seal cutscene. I think. Unless it's only a certain time of day. Was it only a certain time of day? I don't think so. But yeah, guys, with better dive equipment, we should be able to get through these uh, maps a little bit quicker. Ah, it's now, uh, it's not uh, early in the morning anymore, so the whirlpools are back. Okay. I really wish that I had this on a tablet. Probably get a tablet at some point. Yeah, I kind of want one so I could do stuff in front of me. That's not yeah, phone, that <laughs> instead of it. like turning and yeah, I get yeah. that. I get that. I mean, I guess I could bring my laptop over here, but and I guess I could unhook the mic and just move the mic with me. Ah, that's what I remembered. The monk seals came back, and now they're swimming around here. 
cool. So this is what I remembered, not, yeah. That's why I thought the seal was around here, because I remembered them s swimming around here. So yeah, yes I can, I can move my mouth. So, that worked out. But I'm wondering how bad it was to hear that. That is unclear. That's a question for the audience, not for me. And for us checking later. So yeah, I've got a I've got a tier list here that includes every single Zelda game. In fact, it includes several Zelda games it probably shouldn't include. Yay, cutscene. Because it includes things that are remakes. Ah, you've come across a rare creature there. That's a yeah. Mandarinian monk seal. The funny thing is, I don't think this list actually lists Majora's Mask, or it doesn't list, list. It doesn't seem to list Ocarina of Time 3D, Majora's Mask 3D, or Wind Waker HD. There were once many of them. But it does list Skyward Sword HD. But hunters looking for fur and meat, and fishermen protecting their catches. Called them so aggressively that now they are rarely seen. Experts estimate there are less than 500 left in the entire Mediterranean. Damn. We should keep an eye on them so they can live in peace. Okay. So, how controversial should I be here? In terms of Zelda games. Oh, it's, it's petting the It's like it's got its arm over the other one, almost. It's cute. cute uh, but anyways. Seal. How rude do I want to be? Oh, I didn't catalog it. Should I start it. extremely rude? I think I should start extremely rude. So, uh, let's look at the let's look at the worst Zelda games of all time. I've got that a list here. That was a nice here. picture. It's got A, a through F. Worst Zelda game of all time. I think that's pretty unarguable. Was that the one where you... Yeah. It, was that the one where you played as Zelda? No. Uh, that'd be Triforce Heroes. Objectively, oh. the worst Zelda game ever made that's canonically a Zelda game. Absolutely terrible. Basically does not have a single player mode. I know that you can play it single player, but... Playing it single player is playing the multiplayer where you struggle to control the other two versions of you that are required to do all the puzzles because the game is meant to be played multiplayer. It is an objectively terrible game, not fun at all. Triforce Heroes is going to be so hard to play. Triforce Heroes is basically unplayable. So we probably won't play it. And if we do, we're going to struggle playing it and probably give up. It is objectively the worst thing ever made in the Zelda franchise, and I might be including the CDI games in that. They're at least funny to play. Like, you look at them and you laugh. Yeah, yeah. You may struggle through the game, but you're at least having fun laughing at how shit the graphics how are. How shit it is. You can't have uh. fun playing Triforce Heroes. It is impossible. It is a bad, bad game. Yeah, I like um, how my bestie recommended it to me. I'm just like, no. No. <laughs> so, bad, bad game. Um, included, so, uh, let me, so let me look at some other bad Zelda games. Original Four Swords. I'll probably put that at D. I don't have a lot of experience playing the original Four Swords because it's kind of impossible to. It's mostly a multiplayer game, and they did add a single player when they re-released the game, but the re-release was only download... It was a download exclusive and stopped being available after a while, so I literally can't play Four Swords at properly at all so i might even just move that back to the haven't played category i don't think it's quantifiable are you using that one site where you can yeah. rank yeah of course um but i will give you some other i will give you a game that's about as bad as i think uh four swords actually is um the original zelda game no that's probably not fair the original zelda game is probably like it might be C or D tier. I, I think original Zelda game is fine. I think it was 2 that a lot yeah. of people Zelda had. Zelda 2 
I would put at a D tier game. Now, all of these games are kind of a struggle because none of these games are looted or really bad except for Triforce Heroes. Zelda 2 is not a bad game. It just Buddhist is not coin. a Zelda game. It's it's not really a... An, an, I would not call it an enjoyable Zelda experience. Very below average in terms of gameplay. It's not very refined. Not that good. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to get all the map that I, I would actually mo rather pl replay the original Zelda 1. But that's still kind of a C tier Zelda game. Not that good. Uh, let's go through let's go through some other games. So I'm I'm going to I'm going to generically classify some of these things and then raise them up later. So, good Zelda games. Um, Link to the Past, always a good Zelda game. Always enjoyable to play. Twilight Princess, always a good enjoyable Zelda game to play. Now, this list categorizes Link's Awakening and Switch Link's Awakening as different games. I am not going to do that. I do not believe the graphical overhaul for the Switch is of much note. Because I'm judging these on the game themselves, and the games don't really play differently. So I'm going to ignore the original Link's Awakening and simply put the Switch Link's Awakening. Fine game. It's like it's up it's up there above original Zelda game in this B tier that's not actually defined yet. Uh, Oracle games, good games. Twilight Princess, or uh, not Twilight Princess, um, Phantom Hourglass, good game. Same thing here. For some reason, they put the they put the original Skyward Sword and the HD Skyward Sword. I am not going to note them much differently. The control scheme is better, but it's I don't think that overhauls the game much. So I'll ignore the original. Yeah, otherwise, it's the same game. Yeah, same with Twilight Princess, where it has the HD, which I miss. Ocar oh, they do have Ocarina of Time 3. Wind Waker HD. Let's see. Wind Waker. I wish there was a way to delete these. Maybe I'll add a category for delete. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, um, th this is an in-game mechanic. The lower you are, um, the more air um, you're going to use. So I should probably uh, go up a little bit. <laughs> That's my fault. Oh, yeah, and these sharks will follow you for some distance. They followed me since the wreck of the Emerald Lady. So that tells you how persistent they are. God awful. Okay, this time I'm certain of it. They don't actually have they don't have Majora's Mask 3D in here. They don't. They have Majora's Mask, but not 3D. Hmm. Yeah, swimming too low was kind of my fault, guys. Sorry. I gotta go. So I think that's the only one they don't have, which is fine because I wouldn't have I would have ignored it anyways. <laughs> okay, so looking at the vast majority of Zelda games. Okay. Hmm. So. Okay, so, what games do I think are actually, like, let, let's start with some controversial ones. Breath of the Wild. C-tier Zelda game. Yes, I am arguing that I think that Breath of the Wild is as bad as the original Zelda game. 
it is not a fun, enjoyable experience. Oh, I went to one time I was telling that like, nine ball. I understand there's a lot of people that like it. I understand it's very popular. I understand that it got a sequel. It on its own, not a great experience. It's fine. It's fine in the same way that playing the original Zelda 1 game is fine. But mm, if I want to go play a Zelda game, I am never, never going to pick it. I will pick an A-tier Zelda game. I will pick a B-tier Zelda game. But I will never choose to play Breath of the Wild. And so if we ever play Breath of the Wild for the channel ever again, in any capacity, whether like we're like one of us replays the game or we continue the game or anything like that, I will never play it. By the way, I've added new guided tour locations. Cicero Strait, south, that's all. Yeah, so I'm I doing... wasn't joking about it. It's Cicero Strait, north. Cicero Strait, south. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing all future Breath of the Wild style Zelda games. Yeah, so. Don't work treating those teals at Cicero Strait. Uh, conservation group is very grateful for all the support you have given them. They've sent another token of their appreciation. Couch your fins. And 2000B. They also sent in their report on the incident. It seems that the reason the monk shields were so far from the colony was because tourists were scaring them just for fun. We were able to save them this time, but if we haven't been quick enough, the numbers of the precious few monk shields left in Central Strait would have decreased, and they would have been even closer to extinction. Are monk seals really numbers really that low? There were plenty of them in the past, but they were hunted for food and fur, and they lost their traditional habitats to human expansion. For those and other reasons, there are now only a few hundred of them left. Oh no! But we're not, it's not even their fault! Yeah, do you think that animals go extinct generally by their own fault? Yeah. Um, some of them have been to environmental changes. Yeah, but that's generally not their fault either. Yeah. Generally like, speaking, animals do not go extinct because of something that's their fault. Yeah. Yeah, that that doesn't make sense. I, I will agree. <laughs> like usually it's that's our fault. Now, now, don't look so sad. Few as they may be, those shields should be grateful to you. Thanks, Grandpa! Okay, so looking at Looking at other games. Um, let's see what we have. Tears of the Kingdom. Now, you may think... Oh, by the way, I don't think I said... I am putting Breath of the Wild above the original Zelda game. I would play it before Zelda 1. Tears of the Kingdom. B tier Zelda game. Tears of the Kingdom is objectively an improvement over the original game. It's still not good. Frozen Land. Lowest B tier game on the list. Okay, other other controversial ones. Uh, Hyrule Warriors, I haven't the uh, uh, second one, Age of Calamity, haven't played that one enough. I've played a little bit of it, very little. So that one I'm gonna skip. Um, original Hyrule Warriors, a tier Zelda game, one of the best Zelda games ever made. If for no other reason, well, there's a lot of reasons, but number one, Midna is in it, objectively best Zelda game. Uh, number two, it has the only instance of a Triforce of Power user that is not Ganondorf and is not evil. A tier Zelda game. Awesome. Number three, they added a female Link in defiance of Nintendo saying they had no idea how they could ever put a female Zelda in the game because then what would Z er, Zelda do? I don't know. She'd do what she does in, in Hyrule Warriors because there's a female Link in that game and it works fine. I may have at some point said female Zelda. I'm not certain. My brain is going very quickly. You 
black. Okay, let me look through other games. Uh, Twilight Princess, I've said many times. Excellent Zelda game, really love it. A-tier Zelda game. Let's try that. Wind Waker, A-tier Zelda game. Very fun, very enjoyable. Speed Fins. Aqua Fins. Oh, yeah, these special purple fins from a famous designer. Nah. Uh, um, let's see. Other other decisions. Oh, um, let's try the Speed oh. Fins. Link Between Worlds. A tier Zelda game. Watch the ending cutscene. Best Zelda game. You want to play the guitar, but you still Younger have a Bro is going to be playing game. that game. At my duress. Oh yeah, he, I can't wait to play. He Link will. See, Worlds. I've yeah, been he to is play required forever. to see that that Zelda game because that ending is excellent. So I want to develop this album. Let's uh, see what else. Monk seal. Link to the past. Unsure. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> at least high B tier, uh, if not A tier. I'll put it as a B tier right now, but I'm putting uh, Tears of the Kingdom below it. Oracle of Ages and Seasons. I like bottom nose often, so I'll keep that. Probably about the same as Link to the Past, honestly. Good, solid B-tier Zelda game. Tears of the Kingdoms below it. Phantom Hourglass. Phantom Hourglass. Let me know when you want to end the stream. A tier Zelda game. Low A tier. A tier Zelda game. I'll go through the whole chart and then we'll end the stream. There aren't that many left. Uh, Four Swords Adventures. I'll go quickly. A tier Zelda game. It is what a multiplayer Zelda game should be played as. Unfortunately, it does require a ludicrous methods of playing multiplayer. But if you can, if you can figure out how to get it to work <laughs> multiplayer, it is the best multiplayer Zelda game ever made. Uh, if we can make that this work, this should be our new thumbnail. No. <laughs> Plenty of room. <laughs> Me and you just Minish cat. relaxing on the chair. A tier Zelda game. Thoroughly enjoyable. Spirit Tracks. B tier Zelda game. Still higher than, tri er, than Tears of the Kingdom. This Hero of Trains is... Stupid, but fun. Ocarina of Time. B-tier Zelda game below the Hero of Trains. Even in 3D, which is the version I'm going off of. It's a fine game. So yes, I am saying Link to the Past is before Ocarina of is is above Ocarina of Time. The Oracle games are above Ocarina of Time. Spirit Tracks is above Ocarina of Time. Minish Cap. Phantom Hourglass above Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time's a good game. Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. Oh, yeah. I, B, I... Okay. B-tier Zelda game below Ocarina of Time. It has more content than Ocarina of Time, but it has so much constant backtracking and, and annoyance, I think it's actually worse than Ocarina of Time. Also, I'm just going to move Tears of the Kingdom back down to C-tier. It is above Breath of the Wild. Oh, yeah, I've played a little bit of Skyward Sword. I forgot about that. Majora's Mask. I'll get to that one. 
Link's Awakening. I'll put it at about the same level as the the Ages games and Links and Link to the Past. I think all four of those games are at about the same level for me. They're all good games. Very solid Zelda games. I would play them below Minish Cap, which by the way is the game I am putting off to play Majora's Mask sooner because that is one of my most beloved Zelda games. I say as I've put it below uh, the the only good multiplayer Zelda game, Phantom Hourglass, A Link Between Worlds, Twilight Princess, Hyrule Warriors, and Wind Waker. So, I don't know. Ocarina of Time. Sorry, Minish Cap. Not Minish Cap. Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask. Let's say that I will rate Majora's Mask when I play Majora's Mask. Have you played Majora's Mask? I have played it, but not enough. I don't think I've thoroughly played it enough to, to rate it correctly. I think I know what tier it's in, but I don't think I know where it is. Oh, I can rate it. Yeah. Um, I, also, I, I think played... I'm going to move... I'm going to move... Zelda 1 down to D tier along with Zelda 2. I've played probably halfway through that game, and I can say that I enjoy Ocarina of Time so much more than Majora's Mask. Yeah. So, so for anyone who's asking for my tier list, I'm not rating Hyrule Warriors 2. I'm not rating Four Swords, the original. And I'm not rating Majora's Mask until after I beat the game. And I'm not looking at any of the original versions of any games. I'm only looking at the most recent release because I don't think it matters for the graphics. So, Hyrule Warriors. Great game. Twilight Princess, great game. Wind Waker, great game. Link Between Worlds, great game. Phantom Hourglass, very good game. Four Swords Adventure, very good game. Minish Cap, very good game. Link to the Past. All those were A tier, by the way. B tier, Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, Oracle of Ages and Seasons, Spirit Tracks, then Ocarina of Time, then Skyward Sword. C tier, Breath of the Wild and Breath of the Wild 2, not in that order. D tier, Zelda 1, Zelda 2, in that order. Only F-tier Zelda game, Triforce Heroes. Get the fuck out of my franchise. And also, I'm going to put the Philips CDI games in there above Triforce Heroes. They're still better than Triforce Heroes. There you go. I've ranked something. I hope Mr. B is satisfied, except that I didn't rank Majora's Mask. Okay, with that, that's going to be it for today's episode. So like and subscribe to YouTube and Twitch. Comment to your videos. Do read them. Follow on search. And we'll see you guys in the next In the Social. Goodbye. Good night, everyone.